Hi, it's Andrea Nguyen, and we're going to talk about rice paper rolls. In fact, I want to show you how to roll your own. So the first thing you want to think about is like, what's going to go inside? Everything that goes inside rice paper rolls, they've got to be thin and soft so that the filling won't puncture the rice paper. Let's say you've got a cucumber. English cucumber is fabulous because you don't have to peel them. Use a teaspoon when you want to get the seeds out really quickly from a cucumber. And then once you're there, you can start cutting thin slices. Aim for about an eighth of an inch. Now the second thing that you can have is some kind of protein. This is what's called pressed tofu, or in Chinese, dogan. It's essentially like so firm that I can literally like toss it back between my hands and not worry about it. And it's great for rice paper rolls because I can thinly slice it. As you're prepping, organize your filling ingredients. Set these in a little container and then cover them up and put them in the fridge. The other thing that is very popular in rice paper roll is cooked shrimp. And if you're starting off with large shrimp like these guys, they're so thick, you can't roll these up. What Vietnamese people do is we cut them horizontally. Place that shrimp on your work surface and then study it with your fingers like so. And then cut with a knife and your fingers are guiding the knife. And it's a great way to use a little shrimp to feed a lot of people. Rice paper used to be made with just rice, water, and some salt. They took forever to soften up. So modern day rice paper always has a little tapioca in it. This is one of my favorite brands, Three Ladies. And this sort of thing, you can order them online, you can find them at Asian markets. You can, I think, even find them at Cost Plus. Use bathtub warm water and find a vessel that is going to be at least as wide, if not a little wider. The technique is very simple. Slide it in and then rotate. Don't let it sit in there and like go off and have a drink. Right now it is over soaking and it will not behave well. So I'm just even going to discard it. Slide the rice paper into the water and you can rotate, you can slide things through. What you're trying to do is to not let the rice paper sit in there. Place it down on your work surface. You'll notice that there is a smooth side and a rough side. I tend to place the smoother side down first. And at this point, you know what? I just kind of like relax. I get to finally chill. This is how I drink beer in Vietnam. It's on ice so that it really like cools you down and you don't drink it too fast and get surly. So once that this thing is getting tacky, and you can tell it because it's kind of puckery, right? We're placing like soft baby greens here. And the reason why you want soft ones is because they can bend really easily. Let's add some of those cucumber sticks, some carrot for color and crunch. And now we'll add some herbage. Basil here. Let's say you really love herbs, we'll add some mint as well. I know this looks like a huge pile of stuff, but once that you roll it up, everything gets kind of compressed. And everything is placed, as you see, sort of in the lower portion of the rice paper. Use your fingers to secure things in place. Tell the rice paper roll who is boss. Roll it one time over so that the lettuce now is facing you. The peekaboo is a very cheap trick. It's a Vietnamese thing. Those shrimp that we cut, just snuggle them up, fold in the sides, roll her on up to everything get sealed beautifully. When I was growing up, we made rolls like this all the time as a family. And so each person would really compete with like who would make the best looking rolls and who had the most technique. But you know, it was always really fun. But of course I didn't have beer then because I was a little kid. But I started out young and it's a great, great project for kids to get involved with because they're great with their hands. Voila, here are your rice paper rolls. We didn't talk about sauces. So you can have the typical like nyuk chum dipping sauce. This is a quickie little thing that I blended up with hoisin sauce, Sri Raksha, and a little tahini, and then thin it out with a little water so that it's nice and sort of dippable. 
So what you can do is also just set out all the ingredients for the filling, your rice paper, your water, get some beer and some ice, invite your friends over and have them roll their own.